I had some people asking, oh my God, not Kaid, not Kaid. And this is the reason why I decluttered my uh, Kaid. Just keeping mine, honestly, if I have to say so for the bottle. Hi everyone, C Chronicles here. Welcome and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you are a first timer on this channel, I do a lot of fragrance reviews, guys. So if that sounds like something that ticks your boxes, please do consider subscribing. I also do a lot of lifestyle content, so do check out my vlogs. I'm running a vlogmas and I do have previous vlogs on my channel, so do check them out and do consider subscribing. Now, to those who are returning, thank you so much for always supporting and rooting for me. I appreciate you as always. Kindly follow me on Instagram. I go by the name C Chronicles there. Now, welcome to the Latafas that I kept within my collection. I have 35, 36, 37 Latafas in front of me. These are the ones that I still have within my collection. I am doing this a video by popular demand because when I did the declutter video where I showed you 18 Latafas that I do not have anymore and reasons why, I think I had about seven comments of people wanting to know which ones I have kept. So I have those in front of me and I'm going to tell you um a brief just a brief uh, take on them if you want full reviews i have obviously done full reviews of most if not all of the latafas that are in front of me here so you can reference within my videos and you will find full reviews and also kindly note this is not a paid promotion i'm not being paid by latafa this is just my fragrances that i have within my collection that i still keep. Now, the first one is going to be oud mood this is my second bottle and uh, now if you didn't know this is a very great fragrance for layering a lot of people find this a uh, very pungent it has like your uh, very loud saffron but if um and it also has some um vanilla there if you want to just uh, amp your fragrance a little bit or you don't want people to know what you're smelling of i usually use this in combination with whatever fragrance so if you i have a like a very sweet or a sour fragrance i usually layer it with oud mood and for that reason i still have it so oud mood is my number one now the second Latafa that is still within my collection and this is fairly new I think this is about four months in my collection and I have more or less you know decided that it's going to stay so I'm, pr I'm pretty much going to buy a uh, backup bottles this is camera this can come off as a little too much to some it has a very loud cinnamon uh, but it is Latafa's inspiration or take on Angel's Share smells not so much as Angel's Share but you can tell that there is some inspiration there of Angel's Share and I like their take here it is a very good almost heavy thick winter scent with a lot of uh, cinnamon so if you love cinnamon you're probably gonna love this one and this one is second on the latafas that i still have within my collection now the third latafa that still is in my collection and i decluttered the cousin is this one this is betty l oud and this is the amethyst uh now i will agree with a lot of people that i do smell something that feels like latexy like rubbery in here uh, but it does have like a certain pizzazz and uh, that's I decided no I'm not going to declutter this one at least not just yet and it works a lot for me in winter although I don't reach out for it that much uh, I just think this one is one that might stick around for a little while so Betty Al Oud Amethyst is still within my collection now the fourth Latafa that I have is off the Oud Mood range and why I kind of still have the Oud Mood uh, Latafas again uh, I forgot to mention that these were like my induction into the Latafa fragrances um, I remember discovering these fragrances and thinking why would something so that smells so good and a good quality be so cheap so uh the first one i actually stumbled upon and bought was the oud mood uh, so i'm gonna have to also say that there is like a sentimental kind of thing to you know my oud moods uh the only one that i don't have is the musk um but i have the three because there's four in the range so oud mood elixir is still here i love the fact that this one has your nutmeg and it has like a suede feel also has some cinnamon there and i like how this one distances itself from the other three so oud mood elixir is still in my collection and might as well just spray it as my fragrance of the day because i really do love this one it's your soft suede kind of fragrance the next one that i still have i have like two ba backups of this because my daughter fell in love with it and she took it and i had to buy more uh, latafa aura this is like their concentrated take on baccarat rouge 540 uh, so it's gonna feel a lot like the x-ray uh, when i purchased this one i was wondering why latafa had decided to actually make another one uh, and then i did you know pin it down to the fact that when this one leans more uh, um, closer to the x-ray than it does to the original so this is going to be your beastly cheapy uh, of their 
interpretation of Baccarat Rouge 540 DX. The next fragrance that I have within my collection, uh, within the Latafa collection, is this one, Nebras Gold. I remember when they released their um, Latafa Pride collection, I went into the store. I wasn't too, you know, impressed with the bottle, but just smelling it off the nozzle, this is one that I just needed, you know, I knew I needed. It has like a cacao there, very gourmand in nature, very chocolatey, and is very different from most, if not all, the Latafas that they have made so far. So Latafa Nebras, the gold one, is one that I would recommend to you if you like, you know, your gourmand, like your cacao. If you like that kind of feel, you're probably going to love uh, this one. Another one that I, I have, and this is a new acquisition, actually, I've had this one for about maybe six weeks, weeks, and I have a current review of it. So if you want my take on Latafa Mohra, you can go ahead and watch the review. I think it's two videos or three before this one. Uh, Latafa Mohra is not exactly your pen Halligans, like Halfetti leather dupe. This is like their own interpretation as well. They have done a couple of tweaks on it. Smells, you will get like a prominent licorice there, and it's very different. And at the moment, it is actually my go-to fragrance i literally bathe in this one because i love it so it doesn't have like a middle eastern feel to it so if you want uh, to try this one you may uh, as well try this one. and you'll notice that there's a rhyme or reason you know as to why i have the fragrances that i still have within my collection on the latafa uh, collection um other reasons that i kept the ones that i'm showing you here is uh and decluttered the other ones is some of them tend to have like replication to them. The ones that I actually trimmed down my collection to have like sort of like a different take. Latafa does have a tendency of maybe like making the same fragrance and then just putting a couple of touches to it there and then just bringing it out there. So now I have cottoned up to that and I kind of like will bring a fragrance here for review and then declutter it if I feel no, this is just another twist to what already exists within the Latafa collection. Number eight is going to be Yara. This is not going to distance itself a lot from the fragrances that you probably smelled like the um like the mainstream fragrances this feels a lot western um it does have like a strawberry there and something that feels um it does have something that feels creamy and that sort of thing um but and I, I don't reach out so much, uh, you know, for this one, but I kept it because it does not smell Middle Eastern. And I thought it is a scent profile that I might want to revisit some other day, although I'm not wearing it that much. Uh, it is also a great uh, winter scent as well as a summer scent, but it is uh, quite thick there. So you can wear this one in winter. I also did mention in my declutters that I will not be bringing the cousin to this one, which is Latafa Moa, um, Yara Moa, because that one feels a lot like uh, Rouge Malakai, which they have have also played around with that profile for a long uh, time. Number nine is going to be Latafa Sato. Uh, Latafa Sato is their take on uh, Tom Ford's um, Peter Peach. I like the inclusion of the vertiver here and this is why I kept it. This one leans more, a little bit masculine. I mean, it leans more towards what a man would love as opposed to how the actual Peter Peach uh, feels like. So I kept it for that reason that it does have like a herbal uh, vertiver take to it and, uh, you know, it is a another uh, interpretation of uh, Bitter Peach without exactly copying everything to a T. So that is Latafa Sato. Now the next one is Oud Mood and this is the reminiscent. This is like your um, calmer version of Oud Mood. Um, it feels a lot similar to Oud Mood. Of, of course there's some differences there. There's a rose and stuff like that. But this one is less up upbeat and you can see I've used this one a lot as well. This is unfortunately still my first bottle. My Oud Mood is on the second bottle. Uh, but I love this one because it is calm uh, it will give you a loud oud if you're not used to that oud uh, kind of feel and the oud is going to be a lot more on the synthetic side but I just love this because it's like a softer uh, take on it I don't use this one for layering that much but I still have it uh, you know in my collection because it is a less upbeat oud mood uh, now number 11 is this one royal sapphire I did a full uh, extensive review on this one I don't know why they called it sapphire though or somebody didn't you know really do, do like a due diligence as to why you know what sapphire means uh this is royal sapphire this is like a latafa's take on um parfums de mali's cullen which also does have that dna of uh, baccarat rouge i40 but i like the twist that it has and it leans a little bit masculine but without distancing itself from being uh, a fragrance that a woman can wear so i still have latafa uh royal sapphire within my collection now the next latafa that i still have within my collection is Ram 
rums gold i did feature rum silver and i let that one go because that one was too masculine this one leans unisex um and slightly more feminine so this is your sweet fruity mix it does have your apple your pear your peach and your black currant so if you love fruity florals especially leaning on the fruity side but also slightly beastly this is going to do it for you it's quite a unique scent and um i do have a backup of it because this is a 30 ml next up is this one okay shake out shuyuk and this is the gold one it does have your cinnamon in your rose it feels like a diluted version of oud mood latafa does tend to like almost like bring back some of these fragrances either in a weaker form or they just do a couple of tweaks there so do you need this one if you have oud mood i would say if oud mood comes across as aggressive you know to you like if it's too stuffy um then this would be your best alternative latafa shake i'll show you it does have the cinnamon the rose the saffron the caramel which is exactly what you'll find in oud mood but it is your uh, your more you know your more calmer version number 14 is mask uh, salama Musk Salama is uh, a mask that I prefer. I let go of uh, Kali's Pure Musk because that one was a bit too powdery for me and it smelled a lot like Vaseline. I did say it in the previous video. Uh, but this one keeps a creamy feel to it and it's a bit unisex. It's fluffy as well uh, and it gives me ice cream vibes. So this one is one that actually did uh, stand, you know, the test. So this Mas Salama I still have and it's a keeper. 24 Carat Pure Gold 999.9. This was weird for me. When I smelled this the first time, it reminded me of cigarette smoke. It reminded me of an ash tree you know it was just too weird uh, but then i've gone to love it it is one of those that are like you know your acquired smell where if you smell it for the first time and you're a woman like myself um, it might actually uh, feel a bit funny, but after a while I got used to this and it was the dice actually that uh, made me get used to this. Not because, um, you know, I had never had a bottle that looks like this and I thought, no, I'm going to keep this for the bottle until I actually did get used to it in the end. And I love this one. This is a definite recommendation for the males out there. It might not be safe for the women, uh, but I'm pretty sure a lot of men might like this, especially if you love, you know, your uh, leather the smoky fragrances Guys, please do consider subscribing if you haven't already it really helps this channel and i do see the numbers going up so thank you so much guys i'm not complaining but i just had to say this in case uh you know uh, some of you haven't subscribed the next one is our noble Amir. Now I'm going to have to be honest with this one, with you on this one. This one might end up going, uh, but I, it, it will still stay within the family. I might have to give my son this one. This one leans masculine and it does have an oody feel there. Although the oud is a bit watered down, uh, it's one that I might not wear that much. So this might go, but for now it's still within my collection. In fact, I have all three because I display them in such a way that I just like to see the three of them. The together. next one is obviously going to be from the Al Noble range and then we're just going to get done with that uh, this one is Al Noble Wazir this is one that I will recommend if you like niche uh, fragrances if you like butterscotch it does not have butterscotch as a no note but it does have something that feels very caramelly there boozy sweet creamy as well and fruity uh, so if that sounds like something that you may be interested in I personally would say from the Al Noble range this is my favorite uh, and maybe the other one the green one. So, like I did say, the third one is going to be Al Noble, and this one is Sophia. This one is going to be your uh, citrusy take. Now, if you love citruses, if you're into the La Frenchies, if you are into the uh, Bergamot 22, La Labo, that sort of thing, I'm not saying this is a dupe for that, but this is not uh, going to disappoint you. Very forward on the citrus. So if you love your citruses, then this is one that you may want to uh, have within your collection. And I still have mine. Number 19 is still in the family, but it's not in my collection. This is Kasaid's Al uh, Sultan. My uh, son loved this one. So I decided to give him and he still has it. He hasn't used it much. Uh, this is going to be your beastly, almost citrusy as well, uh, fragrance. So, and it's going to tick the boxes for males. This is very masculine. So I still have this within the family. 
family. So this is Kasaid Al Sultan. Number 20 is going to be this one, Latafa Shard. Um, if you love the Femme Fatale fragrances, if you love the crispy uh, fragrances, you know, sharp, crispy fragrances, it does have like a citrusy top there, uh, but it is crispy and loud and a bit fresh there. Then this is one that I would recommend. I still have it within my collection. I just haven't used it much because as you know guys i have a lot of fragrances within my collection but this there's absolutely nothing wrong with this one and i love it two bits now number 20 uh, one is another Baccarat Rouge uh, inspiration. This is why I was saying I don't know why Latafa has to replicate and replicate. This one will lean more um, this one will lean closer to Berry Owl Oud. Okay, it will lean more closer to Oud for Glory but it's a bit subtle. This is Tara. I've never featured this one but I kept it within my collection because it's a 30 ml. Mine is completely unnecessary at this moment but I just keep it because this is like a travel size and for those who may be wondering if it's similar to this one okay no it's not similar to this one this one is a bit green you know I, I can't explain it but it's not that similar now, number 22 and this one is an mm, for me you know uh, still here let's have a colored and I was told by uh, my subscribers that speak Arabic that it means necklaces and the box does have what looks like a necklace this is sweet uh, very sweet but a bit on the like too sweet like almost nauseating um, it's still here it's still here just because I haven't decided but I had to show you so this is not my number 22 which is Latafa Kalad 23 is elite just white elite just white i've turned it so that you can see there it was the the cap was facing the other way this i love this i would say shortcut is a gym scent if you love your light citruses if you love something that smells a lot lemony and uh, fresh this will tick the boxes for you so i still have my elite just white next up is opulent musk uh this this one again is uh, it's beautiful i'm keeping this one mostly for the bottle and for uh, spraying my clothes because again it's another 540 dna okay albeit has got those twigs it does have the musk and so on and so forth but um if you can't get your nose past that uh dna the dna the, 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 the 540 dna is not from from the top it's you start to get wafts off it's not like it's the first thing that you're gonna smell but it does dry down to 540 uh, so i'm just keeping mine honestly if i have to say so for the bottle and also for spraying you know my clothes in the closet or the towels and stuff like that i don't reach out for it that much but it's still here so this is opulent musk now if you love a citrus your zesty orange wine that's what i get from this one this is um this is adib and it's on number 25 uh, adib is your intense citrus it does have like a gentle middle eastern feel to it it's not too in your face uh it reminds me of dios dune um i did use that fragrance a long time ago i think this was over maybe 12 15 years ago uh so when i got my adib i just thought oh wow this does have wafts off and i'm just gonna keep it for that reason i still have adib in my collection 26 is going to be pure oudi i slept on this one for a long time because the, just the oudi this o-u-d-i you know, the way they always put oud or oudi i thought okay this is just going to be one of those that smells like the the rest of them like the oud mousse the whatever this one took me by surprise this is in the same vein as um your creed aventus women it is soapy fresh spicy and clean but it does smell a lot elegant it also does have a little bit of wood in there but it is wearable and i like the fact that they finished it off with you know there that 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 those those woods in there i think that just looks nice now the next one is going to be rock but i had a subscriber that came and they asked me or they they were in the comment section and they said Oh my god did i get a fake one mine is way way lighter than yours uh let me show you ragba originally looks like this one uh the original ragba has this kind of color mine is has gone so dark because if you've used vanillas you will know that vanillas if you keep them over time they will go very dark um still smells the same i'm keeping this one although i am not reaching out for it a lot it does have like your caramelized sugar 
a lot of vanilla a little bit of some smokiness um but i'm just keeping it as a souvenir i fell in love with it just like how most people fell in love with it and believe it or not mine is like uh mine is like maybe the 2017 one so when people were raving about it i'd had mine for a long time but i just for some reason was forgetting to review next one. one i cannot see it i think i forgot it it is in my daughter's room because she loves it ektiari uh, she loves ektiari a lot ektiari has got those like uh what you call it pebbles or uh uh transparent things that look like beads in the x here is a lovely orange scent uh it is not middle eastern leaning so my daughter is absolutely crazy about that one because she does love citruses and that one is still somewhere in the house so x is still there though i don't have it here because i just noticed that i forgot it the next one is going to be confidential private gold okay so if you're looking for a kirke dupe a titiana terenzi kirke dupe uh, that is affordable then you might want to try this one another one that my daughter is completely obsessed about i find it too sweet i find it too jammy i don't wear it a lot but she is completely obsessed with the next one, one uh, that i have is going to be um this one okay this is anna aviate and this is i am white this is your herba puree dupe so spiro herba puree i know they're now called zerjov uh this is their take on it it is very sweet uh but this one tends to have wafts of masculineness so i don't reach out for it that much but i still have it within my collection so yes anna aviate is number 30 on the fragrances that i still have from latafa now the next one and this is the reason why i decluttered my uh, Kaid, because I had some people asking, oh my god, not Kaid, not Kaid. Yes, Kaid is beautiful, guys, but I found velvet uh, oud more wearable. And look, this is how it's just uh is now i mean the whole thing is coming off it's supposed to be like that but that's how old mine is i still have a velvet oud because to me i found it more wearable it was less beastly it has like a smoothness to it so i had two choices either declutter this one or the kaid and i decluttered the kaid and i'm not saying they are exactly the same fragrance uh but i'm saying preference wise i knew i could wear this one a lot more than i would wear my kaid and i have the evidence i have the proof you know you can see for yourself how far i've worn this next one. one guys which i think this is going to be my number 32 is going to be kashadi don't sleep on this one in case you don't have it this is going to be your citrus but i'm leaning more uh lemony it does have a sourness to it but it's also very fresh not as fresh as uh just white it's not in the same vein as just white it has like an aromatic feel to it uh, but it doesn't lean middle eastern and i think this is one that a lot of males and women are gonna like and i still love mine and you can see from there it's gone up to there because the bottle is covered up but you can see that i do use my uh kasha the next one is eternal oud i don't have a full size of this and as much as i did feature the full sizes of this i took them back to the store so i don't have a full size of this uh, because the 20 mls are just plenty eternal oud is probably still you know is a fragrance that i i am gonna go back for believe it or not and as much as i had it i returned it i'm gonna go back for eternal oud and uh, this is latafa's take on grand soir and i think the naming of eternal oud is quite confusing a lot of people might actually uh, stay away from this one because they might think that this is going to be very oudy but it is a very light uh a very light woodsy almost watery grapefruit with a plum is very breezy and very stunning so this is latafa's take on grand soir at least to my nose and i think i like it so after i finish this i might actually go and get the full size bottle but i don't have the full size bottle with me here just as i don't have the full size bottle for this one this is al -Kaim silver i have recommended this one to a lot of people al -Kaim silver it is gorgeous guys it is your citrus it does also have that grapefruit and the ginger oh my god this is so nice every time i smell it it's like i'm smelling it for the first time this is their take on buvari tiger um and i think it's beautiful very zesty but very mouth watering it's almost as if you can actually drink this one so it is very nice okay number 35 is anna abed rouge i'm not going to repurchase this one for the reasons which i did mention that after they released aura i don't see why i should purchase this one again however on its own as a standalone it is a beautiful light take on baccarat rouge 540 so if you have this and you haven't smelled baccarat rouge 540 you probably aren't missing much uh if you want to try it as a standalone 
it is a beautiful fragrance it's just that because i have discovered aura i'm probably not going to repurchase it but the declutter here is not going to be because i hate the fragrance it's just because they released a better one 36 is going to be this one and um, this is Aldo al mcnoon now if you love your uh, lemony uh, scents again the citrusy uh, fragrances fresh that sort of thing very uh, zesty in nature uh summary this is something that you might want to include i think you can see from mine that i have used the heck out of this fragrance guys because this is a an easy reach and it's beautiful so yeah there you have it guys i think that was 36 or 37 i lost count that was maybe 36 or 37 latafas that are still within my collection and like i did state in the beginning of the, of, of the video that this is not a paid uh, promotion this is just me showing you the latafas that i still have in my collection because after i i released that video of the declutters that i had made of 18 latafas a lot of people wanted to know which ones then did i have it is because i do a lot of latafas on this channel and i have actually done more than the ones that i have here it's just that some of them i've honestly forgotten about because i try to be on top of the tough of the latafa game and bring you the latest latafas there c chronicles is my name thank you so much guys for joining me today um i do hope you have subscribed if you haven't why not please do consider subscribing also turn on post notifications that way you will be notified anytime i upload a video like this video if you like it and share it if you want to share it happy holidays and remember guys the smelling good as a form of good manners cheers